everyone, welcome to Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takish and today I'm gonna to show you how I designed my master bathroom. Come on in. For those of you who saw my black and white kitchen, you know that I love bold colors and I love bold patterns. My black and white kitchen had black lacquer cabinets, but for this bathroom I wanted something a little bit more soothing, somewhere I could relax after a hard day's work and really be able to feel like I was on top of a cloud. And this bathroom actually makes me feel that way and is really a great sanctuary after a long day. So I decided to do two of everything for this shower because we have the space. We have a very large shower and just in case we need to shower at the same time, we can. So we have his and hers, shower heads, his and her thermostat controls, his and her benches, and uh, it really is nice and roomy. We can dance in here if we want to, we don't, and actually we've yet to shower in here at the same time. But if we wanted to, we could. So I love a handheld because I'm a lady and I like to sometimes just take a body shower and don't want to get completely soaked or maybe I just want to you know shave my legs I can so my side has my bench has my um, rain shower head his side has the exact same thing minus the handheld he doesn't like the handheld so you can customize your shower any way you like uh, we decided to make the floor of the shower also slab at an angle so that it's also easy to clean, but you gotta be a little bit careful because it can get slippery. So either way, um, if you do get a um, floor that's a slab, I recommend making it a bit honed. Now, the um, shower itself goes all the way to the top of the glass door. I like it completely sealed. This allows you to do a steam. We didn't put a steam unit because we're not steamers. But if we wanted to steam up this shower, we actually could because it is completely closed. If we want a little bit of air because the shower is so big, we just leave it a little bit open. And um, it's, it's so large that the water actually does not trickle out at all. The bathtub you decide to choose for your master bath is very important. Why? Because if you spend a lot of time in your bathtub, as I do, uh, you want it to be comfortable. You want it to be able to keep the water warm and you just want to be able to enjoy your bath. So in this bathroom, we decided to go ahead and input an, a marble bathtub. This marble bathtub is literally made of one piece of giant marble that was carved into this beautiful egg shape. And the reason I chose this was really for the aesthetic, I'll be honest, that was more important to me than comfort, etc. But I found it to be actually very comfortable with the way that it is um, shaped. My body fits in there nicely, it's long, my husband's very tall, so it's comfortable for him. This happened to be a very big purchase because of the fact that it is a solid piece of marble. And for that reason, I don't know if I would do it again to be completely honest. And the reason is that importing, or I should say, transporting this bathtub into this room require heavy machinery, engineering, and a lot of money and work. So, am I glad it's here? I'm so glad it's here. Did I over um, reach? I think so. Why? We had literally put, had a crane bring this tub in while we were in construction before the windows are in. And we had heavy machinery movers, like industrial movers, lay out um, the floor so that under no circumstance would it fall through a floor into a different floor while they were moving it because of the fact that it's 3,000 pounds. So if you have the energy to do something like that or your contractor has the wherewithal to deal with it, great. Especially if you're on a first floor, not a problem. If you're on a second floor like we are, you've got to make sure that your joists are um, configured in a way that can hold this kind of weight. Although the installation was very difficult, the end result is really beautiful. And I must say that I do enjoy this tub regularly. I probably bathe in here three, four times a week. I alternate and I really do enjoy my time here, especially with the view. Um, one thing to mention about marble tubs is you need to fill them with very hot water initially. You let the hot water sit, it warms up the marble. Once that happens, then um, you can have a long lasting bath with a perfect temperature for your bath needs. 
A really simple, easy, and inexpensive thing to do in your bathroom is to buy one of these little cute stands. When I bought this, they were hard to find. Now you can find them everywhere. I will have links um, below with all of the great items that are in this bathroom that you might want to purchase. This one is one of my favorites. I believe it was $79. It's brass. I've had it now for a few years. It hasn't tarnished. It's beautifully polished. And what I like about it is the fact that I can move it if need be in front of the tub or in front of the shower. And I don't have to commit to making holes in the wall. I don't like making holes in the wall unless I absolutely have to. I already had sort of these decorative towel bars, which by the way, I love because those are vintage pieces that I found from Italy from the 70s. And they're just insane. But this is the more utilitarian one, and this is a great way to display your towels. As mentioned earlier, I found these towel bars on eBay, and they were actually very inexpensive, but they are uh, true 70s finds. That is what excites me the most in the world, is to find these incredible things on eBay or in the state sale, and so these are it. And at the time, they were extremely unique because brass wasn't even in when I installed these four years ago. But now, of course, I feel like you see these things, but these are literally glass and brass, real solid brass, and I just, I love them. I admire them when I'm in here. And uh, what I decided to do was put a Mr. and Mrs. You know, a nice little fun detail is to either engrave or monogram. It's just a little thing that you can do to your towels and it just makes it feel so much more custom and beautiful in your bathroom. Caesar here was also a state sale find. I think I found him for $49 and I took him home with me under my arm. And what I did was I put my um, essentials for the tub on this cute little stand, which I got from Restoration Hardware. And what's great is, you know, I have my bath bombs here. I have uh, my, uh, my little sponges. So everything that I need for my bath is here handy, and I just throw them in the bath before I get in, depending on whether I'm in a loofah or not. So it's nice to have a stand so that um, you can access all the things you need. What I love having right next to my basin is the uh, little jars that I'm sure you guys have seen. And in here I keep my Q-tips, I keep my cotton. I have two types of cotton I use, one for makeup removal, one for nail polish removal, and I always keep them stocked right here so that when I'm doing my routine at night, they're ready and they're accessible and they look great. The other thing that's really important to have right next to uh, your sink is a magnifying mirror. Now, you might not need it when you're super young, but it really comes in handy as you get older. But it's also great because you can turn on the light and you can see blemishes, or if you're doing a special technique, makeup technique, you can look at it. And really, these things are not expensive to install, but they really are useful. This one is on my husband's side, so that when he shaves, he can sort of look. When I installed it for him, he's like, I don't need that. But literally, every day, I notice he's looking at himself in this mirror, so it is a good thing. So I decided to create a vanity for myself, although I wasn't the type of person that sat down to do my makeup or my hair, but then I realized that it actually is pretty, pretty nice to do that. So I actually do sit here. I got the Philips Dark Ghost Chair, which I think is really important because I wanted it to feel airy. I didn't want to hide the you know the beauty of the marble. I wanted it to feel open, and so this chair serves a great purpose. It's designer, and it is literally see-through. Um, again, I have my magnifying mirror for me. The other one was for my husband, but this is for me, and I use it regularly to put on lashes or to when doing my makeup. The other quick thing about um, having a vanity is if you're lucky enough to have the space is that you can organize everything. So each one of my drawers has its own purpose, and I'm going to show you what those purposes are. These are my favorite little things that I got from CB2, you guys. I absolutely love them. I don't know why I love them so much, but they are here, and I keep little knickknacks in here, cotton Q-tips, if I don't want to get up and get them from um, elsewhere. And it's a nice way to organize tidbits so that you don't clutter, over clutter your countertops. So this isn't actually being sponsored. I do love Google Home in my bathroom because most of the time when I'm in here, I don't have my watch or my iPhone with me, and I never know what time it is, and I'm usually running late. So what I do is I say, Hey Google, what time is it? It's 1.44 p.m. The next question I ask is, 
Hey Google, how long will it take me to get to the Pacific Design Center? It takes 14 minutes to drive to Pacific Design Center. And lastly I say, Hey Google, remind me in 20 minutes to leave for my appointment. Got it, I'll remind you at 2.05 p.m. This way, I'm not late, I don't have to run around and look for my phone, I don't have a annoying uh, clock in here that doesn't look good, and I can actually also have it play music or do all sorts of other things. But uh, I do recommend this for your doctor if you're like me, always wondering what time it is. In one of our future episodes, we're going to look at my kitchen design ideas and techniques and what I do, and I know you guys have been asking about this, and I can't wait to share it with you, but today, I'm going to fill you in on a couple of quick, easy secrets about how to organize your drawers in your bathroom. So what I like to do is keep things by color, by use, and have them in these little organized clear trays. So you'll see that I have all of my lip liners in one section, I will have my eyeshadows in another, I will have mascara, so eyes are separated from cheeks that are separated from lips. This way when I am looking for something I don't have to go through piles and piles of makeup. So my top drawer is essentially eyes, my second drawer is dedicated to cheeks and lips, and here you will see that I have my lip glosses on one side, I've got my actual lipsticks on another side, and I've got cheeks on the third side. And lastly, what I'm going to show you is how I organize my hair items. And this is also very helpful when you're in a hurry. You want to put in either hair clips or you need to put, you know, a scrunchie or whatever. You know how to access them. Barrettes by um, hairpins, by uh, clips are all organized in this drawer in a way that makes it really easy and fun to be able to um, access. Something I'm going to show you before we leave, which is really good, is I decided to have two water closets, a his and a hers water closet. Let me show you. This is mine, and what I love about it is that it's its own separate room. You can close the door. We have, we're lucky that we're able to put windows in each of our water closets, so it's hairy. And um, I have a bidet in mine because I love bidets, but my husband would never use one, so his doesn't have one. So essentially, there are our own little private oasis. We've got, that's mine. This is his. He's not allowed to color mine, and I never go near his. One of my favorite things in this bathroom, you guys, is this chair that I'm sitting in right now. Don't laugh. What I love about it is that it's literally a um, beautiful, well-made piece. It's a mid-century piece that I got from Palm Springs when I was on a trip there from one of their great vintage stores. And it's a place that I actually, after a bath, might relax, maybe check my emails, or um, sometimes, you know, when I'm doing my makeup, my, either my girlfriends, my husband might sit here and chat with me and relax. And so it ends up being a great space that I didn't think I would be using, but I actually do use um, very much. Thank you again for joining me on this episode of Red Elevator. I can't wait to show you guys what's coming up next. Again, please like and subscribe if you can, and let me know what other content you'd be interested in seeing. Thank you, everybody.